Hi, it's Mary Rose Wildfire McGuire, direct response copywriter and digital marketing consultant. Sorry for the shake there. Uh, boy, I, it's sweater weather. I don't want to see summertime leave us, but unfortunately, um, seasons move on. So it is now getting into the fall and I'm wearing my sweater today. So welcome to my channel. And what I do during these times is I call it my email breakdown. I have a daily email that I send out to my list Monday through Friday. And what I do during this time is I'm going to read aloud one of my emails and then I sort of riff on it a little bit. So uh, it, these are short and sweet and hopefully it will help you uh, increase the effectiveness of your marketing. So that is the whole point of these emails. So the subject line for this one is, are your clients sheeple marching to the slaughterhouse? Forgive me the political, now just a little aside, these emails were emails I sent out months ago. So this email was sent out in January. Forgive me the political aspect of this story, but it illustrates a great point about your marketing. On October 10th, 2016, the sneaky folks at WikiLeaks dropped a bunch of private emails into the world. One in particular exposed a Clinton supporter, Bill Ivey, former chairman of the National Endowment for the Arts. He wrote a revealing email on March the, March the 13th, 2016, demonstrating a shameful desire. In the email, Ivy considered how Clinton could fight against Trump's appeal and suggested that simply falling back on previous policies wouldn't work. And as I've mentioned, we've all been quite content to demean government, drop civics, and in general conspire to produce an unaware and compliant citizenry, he said. Ivy admitted how the left had made secret plans to make the public oblivious to their plans, but he realized the public isn't easily manipulated so easy to manipulate, which was problematic for the Democrats. Unawareness among vo voters, he insinuated, was a positive for Clinton and the campaign she was running. Wow. Here's the scoop, hardworking CPA. And also if you're an accountant, EA or a bookkeeper, this also would apply to you. That kind of messaging is definitely not what you want your prospect to receive. When people feel as though someone isn't being honest with them, it causes their guard to go up. And goodness knows there are plenty of businesses, not to mention politicians, <clears throat> who want to pull something over on people. If you really want to stand out, if you really want to be seen as the trusted advisor, if you really want your services to be seen as a beautiful, lovely investment, instead of an expense, then you'll want to be transparent with your marketing. But if you admit things like how confusing the new tax laws are, or name your favorite risky admission, you're going to gain something extremely valuable and rare from your prospective client, their trust. Trust is the brass ring in marketing circles. Basically, every business transaction occurs because trust has been established. There are many ways to create trust with your clients and prospects. One way is to make legitimate and credible business claims. That's where I come in. There are certain words and phrases that can build trust rather than using the type of words and phrases that cause doubt. If you'd like to learn more, now is the perfect time to schedule a no obligation phone chat. We'll make sure your clients and prospects understand they're not getting the wool pulled over their eyes. Instead, they'll happily follow you wherever you lead to your success, Mary Rose. This is a theme that I have tackled already in several places in my emails also in my blog posts and sometimes my updates on social media. And it is the importance of being transparent. And I think that a lot of times, and it's not just CPAs who struggle with this, 
pretty much every business owner, every business I know, they don't want to come across as being weak and vulnerable. And I think that's a big concern for people when they start to pull together whatever their marketing message may be. They want to come across as strong and competent and yes, trustworthy. But here's an interesting little thing. This is just the way we're built as human beings. We have a tendency to trust people when they confess something to us or when they reveal something to, to us or they allow themselves to be a little bit vulnerable. There are, I'm on a lot of email lists and I don't know about you, but many emails that I get, the ones that start out with, I have to confess something or I have to admit something or, okay, I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> Those type of subject lines always get opened by me, always. So I think that there is most definitely an element of curiosity with those type of emails, but there's also the desire to know, am I the only one who experiences this? So this is a little tip for you in your, your own marketing. Whatever it is that you say in your marketing, this probably would be more toward uh, being used more effectively in email marketing or an article, a blog post. But if you open up with a personal story that shows how life just sometimes gets messed up or things don't go your way, and if you can open up with a story like that and then have some kind of a victory, like a lesson that you learned that was a good thing, or if the situation turned out in your favor, that's always good too. Um, go ahead and use that. Use those type of stories. Because what you're doing is you're allowing yourself to be seen as vulnerable. You're allowing people to understand that when they do business with you, it's not some nameless, faceless organization. There are real people. So you could share your story or it could be maybe the story of someone who works for you if you have employees. But the point is, when you do that, you are gaining trust. Because people look at you and they think, wow, you know, I thought I was the only one. Or I had no idea. And there's just something about being vulnerable and transparent that really causes people to, to take notice and understand that there, there's a belief that you're not going to try to take them to the cleaners or you're not going to try to pull the wool over their eyes. You're being honest. So that's always a good thing. So there you go, that's the marketing tip for the day. And I would love it if you would sign up for my email list. You can visit my website, www.maryrosemcguire.com and go ahead and sign up. I've got a free ebook right now that is named Content Marketing for Accountants. And it's all the way at the top of my webpage, free resource, and you can click on that Fill out your name, you'll get the ebook instantly, and you'll be added to my list. There's also an opt in on the side of the home page that you can also fill out if you'd like, and you'll be added to my list. So please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for visiting, and keep on marketing.